Kia ora Otago, I'm your campaigns officer Roger. <laughs> and I'm your education officer James. And welcome to the OUSA Exec Recap, where we bring you what OUSA has been up to, as well as what happened in the last meeting in three minutes or less, starting now. Uh, peer support applications have opened until April the 24th. The peer support program put together by OUSA Student Support um, is a voluntary assistance program just designed to help students with being students. If it's issues with study, if it's issues with personal things, peer supporters are there to help you out. Um, you don't need to be a clinical psychologist to be a peer supporter, you just need to know how to listen, you just need to know, have a bit of shared experience, uh, experience to help other students out. Um, if you're interested in getting a peer supporter or being a peer supporter yourself, check out the OUSA website. So on Saturday there will be two important marches going on, so Life Matters Suicide Prevention Trust are organising a hope walk from 10.30am to 1pm from the Dent School on Great King Street to the Octagon. The point of it is to raise awareness for suicide prevention and just really get the conversation going, you know? Yep. Um, an hour later after that, uh, from 2 to 4 p.m., is the March for Our Lives heading from the Union Lawn to the Octagon. Uh, this is the uh, show our solidarity with those affected by the gun violence and school shootings in America. So, both of us, James and I, will be at the marches carrying the OUSA banner. So, keep an eye out for us and come say hey if you do see us. So this week a student came to our executive meeting presenting a submission on the Misuse of Drugs Medicinal Cannabis Amendment Bill Select Committee. Uh, the submission pretty much expanded the scope on who can receive medicinal cannabis. The OUC exec decided to support the policy, one, in, in, uh, sorry, support the submission, one, in terms of supporting the submission itself, um, but also some, uh, supporting political engagement by our students. So your exec discussed what we're going to be doing for Pride Week this week. Um, and <laughs> Friday week will be going from the 7th to the 15th of April and we decided that we'll wait for the lovely Hana from Queer Support and see what she wants to do and help her out in how, however way we can. Um, we accepted the Univers Otago University Snow Sports Club constitutional changes. And we set the dates for the first semester referendum and they are as follows. The call for questions will be from the 16th of April to the 24th and the actual referendum will be in May the 14th to the 17th. So we'll give you another reminder close to the time but just keep your eye out for that. We've got one minute to go. Um, referendum is a really great chance for you to go and let you have, let you have, your, have, let you have your say. Uh, and let us know about the big issues oh, we, we, we could have the executive members be paid fortnightly this week and rather as opposed to quarterly it's a more progressive and fair way of doing it removes the financial barriers of being an executive officer after having put them to notice we set the executive reporting policy and constitutional review committee the, in terms of references the executive appointed the following people to the AUSA election review committee Alex McCurdy Finn Shaw Joel McManus Sa Sarah Algar and Sinead Gill and President Caitlin this committee will be looking at the multiple aspects of how to improve OUSA elections and the culture behind them international officer Umi was appointed to the OUS B OUSA representative on the internationalisation committee and chaplaincy board we appointed colleges officer Noor Hunt the National Council of Women. We accepted. Welfare Officer Abby's reports for the Ethical ha Behaviour Committee, Chaplaincy Board and Health <laughs> University Advisory Group. CEO Debbie Downs, Fibri Report. Uh, Uri's <laughs> International uh, Committee Minutes. Finance Officer Sam's Finance and Expenditure Committee Minutes. And finally, Recreation Officer Josh Smith's Grants Panel and acknowledged their recommendations. Done! <laughs> ah! I don't know how many tooks, takes that took, Ollie. Um, so thank you everyone who liked and commented on last week's video. Massive congratulations to... Loretta Champion, congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations, Loretta, well done. <sighs> Um, you can pick up your voucher for a large Papa's Pizza at the OUSA main reception office sometime next week. And so for a chance to win next week's pizza, just like this video, comment down below, tagging your friends as many times as you want. Unlimited yep. times. Uh, if you have any questions about what we've talked about today, uh, feel free to hit us up on the streets. Check us out at our OUSA main offices opposite the UBS. Or email us at campaigns at ousa.org.nz. Or education at ousa.org.nz. Or you can email our president directly at president at usa.org.nz If you would like to be a part of our next meeting Yep, just come along for a lesson or something like yes, that Yes, so they'll be at on next Wednesday at 3pm The location is yet to be determined but feel free to email our secretary Donna at Donna at usa.org.nz um, Yeah, we, we, there's probably going to be about room 2, 5 or 6 of the Clubs and Societies building on Albany Street um, But yeah, as we say every week the point of these videos is to give you a brief recap um, but please hit us up if you want some more information. Well, that's it for us this week, so. Sweet. Thank you Catch very much. Up.